What's going on, vlog? Uh, EJ here, so sorry about the glare of my glasses. Things are crazy right now. So I'm popping in because it's the start of another vlog. Um, I'm actually three fourths of the way. Is that too loud? Hold on. Okay, that's better. So um, I'm about three fourths of the way. I'm packing all of my product. Uh, I got over $6,000 of product for my new body and home company, Reese. Um, I decided to bulk stock up on a bunch of things because with the body butters, the body scrubs, the soaps and the candles, there are a lot of things that keep going out of stock and keep being unavailable. And I wanted to be able to be set for the launch and then like pretty set for like the holiday selection launching so i got a lot of stuff so i am um unpacking it that's kind of what you see behind me we're gonna go over i'm gonna show you where i'm at and then um i'll show you the things i have left to unpack and we'll go from there um yeah so i'm really excited i have the movers i got everything oh old knees i need to sit down this is not gonna be a great angle but it's okay um so I had everything shipped to my house because it was about 40 boxes <laughs> of product and my office like I said in one of my other vlogs is actually a one bedroom apartment and if you've ever lived in apartments you know how there can either be a problem with people stealing your packages or the office not being open when it needs to be so that your packages can be dropped off or if you have a lot of packages then the office staff complaining not saying that's what the staff would have done here or anything like that but I just I've never gotten packages delivered here <laughs> I've always gotten delivered to my house so especially because um I knew I was getting so much so um I hired some local movers which if you're in the midwest I'll leave them down below their company is literally called somebody with a truck so it's like the perfect name because everybody's always being like do you know somebody with a truck and they do they got trucks and employees and they're super super great they actually moved me into my office into this apartment when I got my office at first um so very small did a great job so they got and I am on the third floor so there was there, there was no way there was no way <laughs> I was lifting all this stuff up three flights of stairs because there's no elevator on my side of the building so I'm unpacking and rearranging. Um, so I got product and storage things because I knew I would need storage things. So um, <clears throat> most of it's the limits. So don't judge me. Don't even judge a mom. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. So over here in this corner, um, I think I'm going to make this corner. I got to get that light and a couple things back there out but they will make this corner my box corner because I have small and medium boxes so I ordered large boxes so I have a whole lot of large boxes it goes all the way down there um in this tub actually this tub was a set of four so there's one two three there's one back there and then the fourth one I actually use for my toddler's toys because they are I'm gonna back up so you can see they're a pretty good size actually let's see 27 gallon 27 gallon they came in a set of four I'll put the link down below but um this is actually where I'm keeping my wax so I have about let's see that blue bag is 55 pounds that bag is 10 pounds plus another partial bag so I probably have about 70 pounds of wax in there which is great um a fan that I'm going to leave on low all the time because it's sitting by the wax and then I have shea butter over here so it's just going to keep this room cool which is actually is the coolest room in apartment so those are empty those are i'm gonna put some stuff in here then i have these two sh store shelves here i bought the store shelves from amazon um and everything like that as you can see they're still empty up here because i still have stuff to unpack but we have fragrances we have mica powders right there we have all types of oil that's leftover shea butter and stuff i have all my oils my avocado grapeseed almond oil I have all those down here. I told you I bet I bulked up because people be stuff. 
Then we got melt and pour soap base. We got clear and we got um, just regular, this is shea butter. We have some more fragrances here. I have some more fragrances to unload. We have gluten-free steel cut oats for my oatmeal soap, my oatmeal lemon soap. I have stuff up there. We got the jars. We got the jars. So these are the candle jars. These are going to be um, body butter and body scrub jars. These right here, I have some more out here. My pile of boxes. Don't worry, I'm recycling them. Um, so we have another store shelves, another one I bought. This. These are smaller, so we have some more bottles, uh, containers right there. I'm gonna put some stuff there. Over here is gonna be the shelving unit. Since the kitchen is right here, this is gonna be where I'm gonna put like the tools that I need right then. So like this is my heat press. I'm actually gonna move this, these. Cause these are for when I shrink wrap the like soaps and stuff. But then I'm gonna put those over there. Cause I want this to be quick grab. So I got um, super cute apron. Super cute, I actually have another one. It's in a box I haven't or opened yet. Um, but we have the bottles where the alcohol is gonna be. We have silicone molds. Um, those are wax stickers, which I have the wicks in the other room. I need to move them over here. So these are going to be things that I need like real quick. So while I'm doing stuff in there, I could just grab it here and then also put it back. Um, these are the boxes I still have left to open. So I have these four, these three. These are the small and medium boxes that I have left from the soft launch. So these are going to go in the actual bedroom, which is the storage space now with the other big boxes. Um, we got cards, thank you cards, business things, um, again, I bought some recycling. I bought a label printer with some labels, so all that is in there. So, we're actually in pretty good shape. I've put away, there are my cameras. <laughs> I've put away a lot. Oh, I got fragile stickers for the boxes. These are candle instruction stickers, heat gun, all that stuff. So, my kitchen is a mess, don't look. Um, yeah, so... So that is where we're at right now. Um, so I'm gonna finish getting these boxes unpacked. Um, and, ooh, I went down. I'm gonna finish getting these boxes unpacked and then um, I'm actually kinda tired. <laughs> I was gonna try to start making candles today. Not sure how that's gonna go, we'll see. I do wanna try to get a couple loads of the boxes to the recycling so this might be like a two two three day vlog because i um i want to want to get some of that stuff in here but it's okay we'll see how it goes so yeah i'm gonna finish getting these boxes unpacked i'm gonna take i want to take at least two loads hopefully that will be the majority of it to the recycling the recycling place about 15 minutes away from here 15 20 minutes away from here but i think it's worth it especially with how many boxes i have and i am reusing some boxes so like i'm wiping them down and then using them as um like actually what i had my fragrances in that is what the candle vessels were in and i thought it was really good to use those for my fragrances because i had like the separators reuse boxes okay reuse boxes so um i guess i'm gonna just let y'all watch me for a bit and um, go from there. And then I am going to record myself making the scrubs, the butters, the soaps, the candles. So in those videos, I will have um, links to the individual projects. Cause like, actually I love these. So um, all of these molds that I have, the, some of them are deep. Some of them are not so deep. I got some circle ones. Then my favorite ones, I have some that have some floral patterns. Um, these are lemon ones for my lemon bars. Um, these patterns I really, really like. These I really, really like. So I got them from a couple different places. Some of them, um, let me see, Amazon, Bulk Apothecary, and did I? get some from Bramble no I didn't get some from Brambleberry I think just Amazon and bulk apothecaries where I got those anyway anyway the videos where I am using those products I will put there goes my air conditioning I will put the links in the um description bar so just in case you were interested you can get them yourself so yeah I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff unboxed and we'll go from there.
so I have one more box left to open and unpack and then I want to give you a close-up on the vessels that I got because I think I will put that in this video and then link those down below because they are really really I I'll tell you why I did what I did um, but I really like all my vessels so let me go unpack this last box so I can be done opening boxes and know how many boxes I need to take to recycling and then I'll show you that okay be right back okay so first um, and hopefully I'm in ooh there we go first there we go I'm in focus now so sorry if I wasn't focused before first are these beautiful glass frosted vessels these are from wooden wick and um, I wanted so okay so I ain't gonna lie to y'all these are not the cheapest okay <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all however I really wanted some nice they're individual some nice glass vessels for my candles I know I wanted big candles because I like big candles but I also got a smaller one but we'll see that in a second um and I picked this color I picked this color to start off with because my main colors are three different three different shades of green so this would really set it off uh the labels that I have for these and I'm really excited about that they also come With these tops, these are the tops that I picked. So my my colors for my business are um, the three different color greens. Uh, well, no, wait, is it three? No, it's two. It's two different color greens, um, and I kind of use them about evenly the same. So I count those as the main color, and then rose gold, and then gold. So for reason, because I wanted everything is going to be cohesive, but I also wanted it to be distinctive so this is what it looks like with the top on it and the top is really reflective and I really really like that and so when you take the top off you can sit the candle in it and it becomes just a nice decoration my labels for my candles are not too big so it'll go on one side and then you can just turn it around and just have this for your aesthetic because sometimes the labels ruin aesthetics and I didn't want that so yeah, I'm really excited about these. These are so pretty. These are so pretty. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They were not the cheapest, okay? But um, I definitely wanted luxury candles and these definitely scream luxury to me. So these are 12 ounce uh, for my 12 ounce candles. That's why I'm gonna leave them wrapped up in their individual wrapping. Uh, so that's what these are for. Then to keep it in the candle family, these are for my four ounce candles. So these are smaller. I got these off of Amazon, I believe. They do have black tops. Now, okay, I, I know what I just said. Okay, <laughs> I know what I just said. But these are, I'm trying to get this on. These, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to sell these. These are for the marketing thing that I was telling y'all about. I need to sit down. Me and my bed. Hold on. Me and my bad knees, girl. I ain't got Megan's knees. Okay, so, um, are we focused? Maybe. We are kind of tilted, but that's okay. Um, these are for my marketing. Okay, so my original goal is to, oh, and that's why I forgot to mention, those, the 12 ounce candles, are going to have wooden wicks that crackle. Again, doing things that I love, right? Luxury candles, crackling wooden wick, amazing. These are going to have cotton wicks. Um, and they are four ounces because these are for my marketing okay because I have a whole marketing plan in my head it's gonna cost it's not gonna cost that much to ship these because it's not gonna be like over filling with products I'm gonna send sample products to I have a list of businesses in um, uh, the state that I live in which is Nebraska and Iowa which is right next door and then in Kansas and Missouri because um, it's kind of they're all the states around us right so this, the list is not too too long but it's a wide variety of businesses that could use the products that i am making so whether it's selling it in their own stores or just having it in their store what have you what have you what have you that's what, what i'm going to do so i have these i have 32 32 of these because not everybody is getting a candle because like I said the businesses um, I have a list on what they're gonna get are they gonna get soap and a candle or are they gonna get soap 
body butter are they just gonna get a candle are they gonna get a body butter and a body scrub are they gonna get a soap and a soap uh, a body scrub are they gonna get a body butter and a soap <laughs> right um, if they get a candle candle is the only thing that will only be sent like if they get uh, a soap they will also get something else right if they if I send them a scrub they will get something else because those are smaller but some business will just get a candle because like I said I have certain things in mind for certain things for instance I have a scent I don't know I don't know where it is but anyway I mean I know where it is but whatever but I have a scent I'm calling it fresh air I made this scent um, because my husband um, love him dearly but he did he did just quit smoking but I've known him since I was 18. I am 35 <laughs> and he has always smoked. We've been we've been together for almost 12 years. We've been married for 10 years. And aside from this year, he has smoked. And getting rid of the smoke smell in my house has been something that has been at the top priority <laughs> of my um, housekeeping things that I like to do. Um, I, I do not smoke at all um obviously that wasn't a deal breaker for me because I married him when he was a heavy smoker so um I definitely wanted to and then also I we have two sons right and uh, kids are gross and they smell okay so I wanted I wanted to um so that's the other thing like I burn candles in our house all the time um pretty much like masculine or like the fresh air candle that I made like those type of scents not really feminine scents but because I do have a house full of boys but um smells that or candles that eliminated the smells in my house um I love so that's why I created the fresh air candle that's what I'm, I'm calling it fresh air because it definitely eliminates odors and you can definitely smell it but it's not like a heavy smell it just freshens the air in the environment that's why I call it fresh air like it literally freshens the air in the environment so that candle specifically I am marketing to a bunch of smoke shops because everybody can't have their house smelling like smoke so I have a couple other um, you know train of thoughts and, and maybe when I'm making those candles I'll talk about my train of thought for those specific scents that are going to be marketed toward certain types of businesses they're going to get these in the mail and they're four ounces like I said I may not sell these I think I want to keep the the original thought was to keep these for marketing purposes but they are glass jars um, they do have the aluminum or the tin top it is black um, they are gonna have a sticker on it so it's not gonna be all the way branding but I wanted this size in this thick you see I don't know if you can see how thick the glass is I did not want thin glass um, and unfortunately just the black tops are available so I was like whatever um, I got these from Amazon they were not that much if I remember correctly I want to say 32 jars I think I think 32 jars and I think it was $26 something like that so like I could I may just go get some I may just buy some more but anyway I'm gonna start with these and see where I end up and then maybe I'll buy some because they did have other colors available that was the thing they had um this is from the same Amazon company that had the other jars I'm about to show you. They did have the rose gold and the gold, but they were just out of stock. So I may wait and see, or wait until they come in stock and then order either the rose gold or the gold and sell those. But I'll keep the black tops for marketing. Plus, that'll help me. I'm a visual person. And I'll be like, oh, the black jars are for marketing purposes. So anyway, these are for the little candles. So that was a long spiel just to explain. I just like explaining what I'm thinking and how I'm thinking um, because it might help somebody else. So if it helps you, let me know. So, okay, let me show you the other two, two, four <laughs> jars that I have, but they're kind of the same. Hold on. Okay, last up. So these jars are from the same company on Amazon that I got the black ones from. These are going to be for the body scrubs and the body butters. So we have a 16 and an 8 ounce with gold top. And we have a 16 and an 8 with rose gold. Again, this is me again 
being visual right so it actually is cohesive when I put this when I put my branding stickers on they're gonna look cohesive so it's fine but one's gonna be for body butter and one is gonna be for body scrub I actually am probably gonna put the body butters in the gold ones because I use unrefined African shea butter and because it has not been processed it is yellow and even when I infuse it with all the good oils and all the great stuff that I use it doesn't change the color of the body butter so it's actually yellow and so I may put them in this just to yeah um, and then these are going to have the body scrub in them so just two different sizes so it's just gonna be like a small and a large uh, my body butters for the soft launch I did not have any candles it was just body butters um, room sprays the wax melts um, things like that body butters were a huge huge everybody pretty much liked everything I got a couple of notes from people which I appreciated which is also why I did the soft launch um, but when I tell you I was doing like 20 20 ounce mason jars of the body butter <laughs> of the body butter so I was like okay great um, and the body butter I actually started making for my son my youngest son who has very sensitive skin um, it is what I use to moisturize him it's what my oldest son uses to moisturize um, it is what I use to moisturize uh, it is very very moisturizing and um, my dad I give some to my mom and my dad my dad um, has been really sick the past year and has had multiple hospital stays so he has like you know the scars from being poked with IVs and things like that and he even said he noticed the scars fading I'm not gonna put that on there I'm just saying I've had a couple of scars and I've seen them fade I don't know if it's the shea butter I don't know if it's the oils that I use or a combination of them it's probably the combination of them but everybody I mean I have um, people in New York people in Texas I've had people all over not all over but the, the places that I have, have ordered body butter in the soft lunch have said it was super super great so I definitely wanted to get a 16 I didn't want to do the 20 the 20 ounce jars were just tricky as far as like boxes went I'm just like ugh. I would have to go up like to a bigger box than I wanted to get because I'm trying to keep shipping under a certain price I was like whatever so we just got 16 it's fine this will still last you a lot because uh, a long time because you don't need to use a lot of it when you you would say so yeah so we got gold and rose gold for the body scrubs and the body butters and then the soaps are just going to be shrink wraps which um, I'll do a video on how I'm shrink shrink wrapping those um, and then they'll just get a sticker on the shrink wrap. I did, however, I ordered, where is it? I ordered, so I ordered some soap stuff, some soap packing stuff, and these actually came with it. So these are bags. They are not very many bags, but I think they're just drawstring bags. I don't know how many there are in here, but and they're not very thick but they're just drawstring bags and um i mean of course the soaps that i send out for marketing are not gonna be full-size soaps so after i shrink wrap them i'll probably put them in here and do that it's a cute little thing anyway so whew, so i think i think i'm gonna end the video here um, because um, I do want to go into some other stuff but that's gonna make this video too long but I just wanted to say all the stuff came in so production can start ah. so I'm gonna start um, production um, either tomorrow maybe not tomorrow Tuesday because that's something to do on Monday so Tuesday I'll probably start production so I will take out with me as I do that because uh first Monday in October which is I don't know where my phone is I don't know where my phone is it's like a third something like that anyway first Monday in October is the release day so it is the 11th so um I gotta get moving <laughs> I gotta get moving because I need to take pictures and everything and I'll show you how I'm doing that because I bought some stands and I bought some foam boards and uh, great stuff um, to help take pictures then I have flowers and other stuff so um, we're gonna go through how to take product pictures which if you didn't know I am a videographer 
slash part-time photographer like that's my first career path um so i'm really excited about being able to put my knowledge of visual arts into this new business so if you're looking forward for that stuff or forward to that soap making candle making body butter making body scrub making packaging videos uh product photography videos product videography videos um marketing videos marketing tips stay tuned how about you subscribe and um i would love to have you as part of the erica day family so with that being said i am going to go take those million of boxes to the recycle i'll see y'all later bye